Yeah. Damn, I need to shave. Crazy. Let's get back to it. Where the hell is this? I don't even remember where this is, bro. Honestly. That's crazy. Ah. Uh, okay, never mind. When I saved the game, I wasn't looking in this direction. So that's weird. <laughs> Mad weird. Like, uh, when the game, you know, when it started, it was, like, you know, it is what it is. It started me off looking out into the water, like, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Gotta get my second win with this coffee. game has so many hiccups from time to time it's funny it's pretty pretty funny Revelio. I already pet the cat I can't get over the fact my guy looks like Central C. <laughs> hey, yo. Crazy. My bad. I always gotta double check. Because the other time I was playing and the game was just brute forcing its way to 60 frames. I'm telling you, man. These console kitties with their, yeah, 4K. Yeah, everything turned off, which is fine. You feel me? If you're none the wiser, who cares? But if a GP, you know, never mind. I'm not about to get into some rant about console versus PC. I almost did. Thanks, coffee. Thanks, caffeine. Like anybody cares, bro. So that being said, let's go. Hello, Weasley. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Deke. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Um... Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. Honestly. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. Really? In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign really? your first one. Now, 
Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, yeah, let's we've get arranged to, it. to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank, Thank you. you, Professor. And Thank Mr. You. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. You've managed your class. See, the caffeine's kicking my ass. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find ah. Potion shop, that's all that. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Okay. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Yeah. Uh. Do Natty. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. Super. And she knows the area. She'll Super. keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. All right. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. A butterbeer? Um, this is what it's all about. It's all about butterbeer. Honestly, really, truly. Is absolutely speak to Ronan to receive an assignment to the type of quest given to you by I saw that by the way. The reward for completing your first assignment. Yeah, I'm all over the place. That like people probably people probably beaten this game. They're almost done playing it, but for me it's one of those games in Revenio. which It's not linear. It's not linear, so therefore I have to, I want to dive in. Even now, I don't even feel like I'm really immersing myself. Streaming. Let me stop talking trash. But yeah, yo, it's uh, one of those games. You don't want to just... You know, any game. This game. Um, cyberpunk. Any open world game. You could stick to the quest and blow right through it. But are you really playing it? Embossed tailcoat. I might have to flip that on, homie. It's not even on the buttons, G. Level five. Oh, so what am I? What am I, huh? What level is my dude, yo? Four. Corny. Nice to see you, my young friend. Ooh. Oh, that was the, you know, this game. I'll never get used to that. Another cat in a different color, or is it just randomly generated? Don't study Abyssinian shrivel fix. Why should they escape the torment? All right, enough. Back above me. I think Defindo should be taught in the first year. Why stave off the mayhem? They say herbology is the study of magical and mundane plants. Zodiogy. Ah, there you are. Come. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. 
It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting okay. Rapero in no time. No time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Whatever, mate. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Tasks. Like the flying page near the broken statue, not a problem. Why well, could just do that? This aim. is the right area. Got it. Good. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Rebellion. how they clutch the book for a little bit. That's a dope touch. It goes away eventually, but he still keeps it in his hand. That's dope. I trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? <laughs> Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a oh, conduit no. of your magic. I'm about to boof it. Watch me fail this one. I've gotten they're pretty easy, but anxiety. Prepare out. True. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Repair. Perhaps a guilty lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Repair. Lumos. Pero Lumos. Now what? Mate. <laughs> now what? Ah, we're going to Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade casts dark magic on the on, on any 4090 GPU. Let's do it. Prepare out. Booming. We're booming it to Hogsmeade. We out. What shall I say? We are outro. Me, Natty, Natty, where are you, bro? Miss Ogunye. You bust this move. Uh, open Sesimie. Open Sesimie. My siblings and I. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Lumos. 
Stand aside, children. I'm a fifth year and I know Lumos. You know what's funny? Does he say Lumos or Lumos? Oh, God. I really I don't have, have time made for a mess this. of things. Now we out. Before I start talking to her, like. Lumos. Hmm. Revelio. Heard some noises. What was that about? Eh? Huh? Lumos. Lumos. Rugged fedora. Cheers. Let's take a look, see. What we've got going on here. I keep doing that, dude. Oh, I already had a flat cap. That's corny. Now I could look really corny. Let me see how it looks first. I could sell it too. Nah, we selling that bad boy. For 30 pence. Go to Hogsmeade. Get throttled. <laughs> Behave at once. Lumos. See, Lumos. And then sometimes they say Lumos. I, I guess it depends on the voice actor, huh? Eh? Oh, that's just gonna send me over the edge, like. Start cussing and ranting in Harry Potter, getting banned. Ah. Strath, what's up? Glad you like it. Right, uh, Rebellion. and that's another newbie thing that I've been doing. I hear like the bell ding when I do it. Is it random or it, does that indicate you've revealed something nearby? It's probably something nearby. Ah, Wooden statue bears the likeness of Pangor Don, fearless Vietnam monk, hunter, and devoted study companion. Pangor Don, interesting. Of those games, I can get. Oh, don't do that. That's not? not necessary. Mm, you sure? There she is. Oi, Natty. Hello. Looking for me? Post haste. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsmeade. <laughs> you must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to at give once. you a first rate Hogsmeade experience. Experience. Hmm. Let me see something here. Hogsmeade, we made it. Oh, she's out. She's not I even was waiting. glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Butter beer. She pronounces the T's with such crisp pronunciation. Butter beer. I can't even do it. 
because I have an overbite. <laughs> I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after uh, being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Hold Though on, I young lass. You my my call it coat is when your mother was the up. one who elected that you take it. Can, is, are we sprinting? Cause what? Like, let's go. Like I want to sprint. Come. Post haste. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Lacewing oh? flies. What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. That's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> Clearly they have some kind of name. Oh, the horned... Revelio. The horned uh, lilies. Let's book it. I think we are running full speed. Look, from the forbidden forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something started them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Leaping toadstools. Uh, you know, I'm somewhat of a collector. I like to forage. Absolutely. Likely already named them too. Uh, they're in my way. Mate. France Hoof and Sugarfoot. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Uh huh. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Pass that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She hmm. said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Knows more about you than you know of yourself, interestingly. <clears throat> Take it all in. Look at that. Ooh. I know this looks crazy at night time. Oh, settling in. I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Mm -hmm. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Memento. Let's see. Moonstone. See, I'm on it. I'm on it. Gathering and I'll be crafting in no time. Don't let me get busy. You know, most games have that feature. In which, I don't find pardon? bearable at all. Sorry, Natty. If it's double potions, I question have that whether feature I in which you uh, can sense where the herbs and the craftables are. Like, beep, beep, beep. Uh, oh, so really? Are we only learning all the boring potions? Lumos. Talking to me. Thesis? Oh, do shut up. Protego. Lumos. Come, come. Let's go. Off we go. What's this over here? Puff scheme. I already know those are something nonsensical, and I'm not going. 
All right, man. Sorry, I keep running off the beaten path. Mr. Moon, he is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Gather all these things. Where's Mr. Moon? This is him. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon... Interesting. Jemmy, guys, Dougley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. Yeah, too much, uh, I what you call it, I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. I saw that. Revelio. Oh, yeah. Let's collect. Hogsmeade, the only all wizarding village in Britain. Hogsmeade has been a favorite haunt of Hogwarts students third years and up. Well, I am a fifth year, and I demand respect. Hogsmeade. Ah! Look, the GPU's crying. Let me stop. And here I think they are. released a patch, didn't they? It is hard to know where to start. Out of the way, kid. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine. Can I get an achievement for petting all these cats? I could not choose a favorite shop here. Ah. It changes with every visit. I can well, tell you that you are certain to find everything Lumos. you need in Hogsmeade. Rebellion. A lot of locks. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivanda, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. A new Experience wand. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. That will do. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Hogsmeade's village brimming with different side shops and other points of interest that you can navigate through using your field guide map. Glad Rags was itching my ass. New wand. What shall we start with? Potions? Pippin's potions? To tomes and scrolls? Tombs and scrolls? Snitch witches? Sporting needs? Let's get a wand, shall we? Shall we? One wand. Lumos. Get off this borrowed, this borrowed twig. Merlin, blooming beard, not again. Look at this guy. <laughs> Look how he's tasting the potion in the painting, like, <laughs> what a yutz. Thank you. I'll take that. And... I'll be right with... Ah, ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Thank you. Uh, hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Gerbold. Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest My name one is makers in the Rumpold. world. It's Run it a up. pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall He's we? He's got one behind his ear. Mm, uh, 
No, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here. Give this one a try. Well, go ahead. Swish. Mm. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm, like shoes. Yes. Thirteen and three quarter. Yeah, that's good. Rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. I was anticipated. just going to say, Gerbold. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. That's what he said for the last one, though. All of a sudden, this is the... Hmm. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Ring the buff or the pale brown. Pale brown is, suits me more. How intriguing. That's uh, Curious indeed. This one is cool. A little straight to the point, right? How intriguing. This is more uh, your uh, Willow style. I'm pretty sure a lot of people got this one or this one. Curious indeed. How intriguing. I think I found my wand. Pause. I mean, does it matter? Wood type elm, phoenix feather, whippy, 10 inches. So, like, if I choose, hold on, let me just do something real quick. If I choose that. Indeed. Elm, Whippy, 10 inches, Phoenix Feather. So it's just different wood types, blah, blah, blah. Okay, what's this kind of wood? Elm, Whippy, 10 inches, Phoenix Feather. So it's all the same. How intriguing. Bet. You, there's so Curious many. Curious indeed. Willow. Intriguing. Curious indeed. Birchwood, maybe? Oh, we have Birchwood. Beach. Remember that from that, uh... How intriguing. I 
don't get it. I don't get all this. Oh boy, like I don't get it. What's the purpose? But hey. Curious indeed. I don't get that either. Let's do whippy. How intriguing. A great range of magic. Known for consistent consistency and powerful. Ah, Phoenix Feather, exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. Shall we? What do you think? Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a Phoenix Feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. It's funny, his name is... Garibald and my guy is Rumpold of uh, I want to say EverQuest fame. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I made a Rumpold a gnome. Visit us again. Lumos. Look at that. We got our own wand. Nice. Now where to next? Toadstool tales always made me wretched. And then, why would I do that, dude? Gather your supplies. We need to visit Tome Scrolls, Pippins, and the Magic Neep. So we're gonna do potions and then the tomes. Should have sold that stuff, shouldn't I? I wanna open the, the map, bro. There we go. Wrong. Oh. Take a look, see it though. I always see this in the, in the Hogsmeade stuff like, oh, it's crushing your frames. Zonkos. Okay, what's whipping around? Rebellion. Joke shop. Oh, dog, I'm stupid. That's where they got the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where they get the. Uh... My good man, you seem to have one too many butter beers. Ah. 
There we go. Welcome to Jay Pippin's Pushins. Jay Pippin. It's an overcoat, shall we? Shall we? Indubitably. Well, now I can wear the embossed tail coat. I must have hit five at some point. Weirdly enough. did hit five. So that's offense. Eight, no upgrade. Clearly this is the better of the two. Pippin. My good man, do you realize you have bubbling potions of flame over here? And uh, if you do, do you think it's safe? Mr. Pippin, please. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected oh. if you're anything like I was at your age, You'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? Are they? they may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Thanks, Mr. Pip. What can I do for you today? What can you do for me? Wait. I'm, wait, what? I'm wearing these things? Hold on. Oh, I guess I, I forcefully have to. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Look at the pricings on this, huh? Look at the to- I have these toads too. Hey, yo, I'm about- But of course you won't pay that much for them, I know that's a fact. But I didn't realize I have all this stuff, hold on. Hold on, champ. What gloves? When did I get these, man? Oh, this is when I was traveling, right? Come on, dude. That's corny. Uh, I 
had these stuff. I had that stuff for me, and it's like, yo, what? That's that's funny. I guess you know in the beginning of the game when you're traveling, like, oh yeah, oh we're out of here. Yeah, all this is getting sold, Broski. There's no reason for me to be holding on to uh, for aesthetics. Especially if it has no, uh, you know. Oh, I gotta use the restroom. Mr. Pippin. What can I do for you today? A moment. A moment, my good man. These Harry Potter glasses, sold. These gloves, sold. This, sold. I'll keep the robe for tradition. <laughs> and what do we have now? 420. Still can't afford anything. Thanks for your time, sir. I Rebellion. Ah, always something. 1753. What an establishment. Anything else to be nosing about? Hmm. Quite warm in here. And we're out. Indeed, your Thank field you. guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Accio. So far, so good. Well, isn't that quaint? Magical shears. Repair. Garden. Uh, is the new reversal hex really so sinister? I question anyone teaching the bank again. I can't imagine how muggles get by without magic. I don't know either. Rebellion. Third one's precarious cauldrons. They are precarious. Look at them. Look at how they are perched. Do not recommend. I don't know that. Bring those hats. Dapper Teal Ensemble. I just... Listen, let me breathe. You just keep rewarding me with stuff. Level seven. Well-appointed, perfect vest uniform. Hmm? Am I going the wrong way? Clearly, I am.
clearly. They're like this way, sir. Jesus. An inquiring mind. So, not really. Ah. If you don't mind, I'll be helping myself to a little, uh, Revelion. Mr. Brown. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration but I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. This guy's Good. Jamaican. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. The voice actor is Jamaican let's for Let's look guy. at what we have, shall we? He gave himself up when he said decoration. He couldn't even hide it. And yeah, people, well, all right. you don't know your language, you don't know your accents. Only Jamaicans say decoration, not Haitian, not Trinidadian, y'all all have a different accent. It is what it is. Like I said, I caught it. It's always, I always humor myself when a, when a Jamaican person tries to like, when they have that accent and they try and, they always, it always slips out like, oh, you're Jamaican. Brown. Decoration. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my Brother, inventory. I don't have nothing else, my man. Thank you. Now to visit the Neeps. Revelio. Anything back here? Pardon me, my good man. Or am I being a little too nosy? Oh. oh. Oh, it's one of those chests that I heard about where they, uh, if they see you, they don't open. You have to, like, sneak up on them. potion sooner or later. Now I know. For the decoration. Oh, oh, oh. What goes on here? Bust this up.
All right, let's find the neep. Where is the neep? Like halfway across now. Levioso and Stupefy combined should put any brute in their place. She stands her ground, that woman. Revelio. A revealing spot. No? Oh, there it is. See it? I knew it. To describe the area. Timothy Tinsdale. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Yeah, let's do that. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Grow Dittany in small pots. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Rebellion. Well, that was, uh, oh, it's locked up. And look at that. Accio. Thank you. Stop right here and do it. Rebellion. Nada. Oh, these chests are rude. We're gonna we're gonna get to the bottom of that. I'm trying to grow Oh, these books, mate. See them flying around. I can't help. I can't help myself to go. I just. I have to. Revelio. Otherwise, it's. In, it's like I have a thing because of. Uh, what's the word? Accio. What's that game? Assassin's Creed. Was it Black Flag with the loose papers? I think I caught one. 
and the rest were like flipping through the like it, it, was, it was some Assassin's Creed. I don't know if it was just Black Flag specifically, and it pissed me off. I let them go. Like I didn't have, I couldn't be bothered. Look at this. Oh, I was like, oh, what is he doing? So that being said, my vengeance just to auto air, look, look, suck, pull it towards me. I'll do it every time I see a flat, uh, a, a loose page in the air. Look. Give me that, bro. Every time I see you, you're gonna be grabbed up immediately. Post haste. Is that another? Oh, it's an owl. Sorry, Natty. Duty calls. All of them. I want. I want all these books, bro. All books and descriptions to be explained. Crazy talk. You, young sir, what are I'm you just doing? To practice. All right, I'm sure then. I'll have it soon. You will. Hold for me. I need to use the restroom. Bio run.
Sorry about that. Yo, that's crazy. <clears throat> nah. Let's just carry on with it. What's this? New gear? Oh, it's one of those games where it's gonna, no matter what you gather, it's gonna be on you like, look what I have. Like, it's junk, bro. Actually looks better than my other robe. But uh cheers. Oh, it's got some kind of thing to it. Oh you can do this. That's a good touch. Sorry if I come off as noobish. Clearly I I'm not like a Harry Potter pro. But that's dope. Like every game should allow that, especially games with all these outfits. Like even this hat. Do can I hide it i'm not i'm not a i'm not a fedora trilby guy bro like you see me I'll, i wear five panels i wear fitteds i don't own they just i look i have my face is too long i look stupid even though it's just a game <clears throat> even though nearly me ah this looks too flash for me it's just long and Nonsense. Albeit with a traditional look, exemplary style. Right, we're gonna finesse this for now, eh? You know what? Let's look like a student, shall we? Shall we? That's dope. I didn't know! I got rid of the headwear, like, duh. Look, see, looking stiff. Uh, I wear a little newsy hat, but yeah, let's do this. I was today years old when I realized you can reset. Yeah, and I sold all my garments, like, even though it is what it is, man. I'll live. That's, damn it. Like, had the little glasses, you know what I mean? <laughs> Oops. Skadoosh. Oh, we're dapper now, homie. As a matter of fact, we have to go reset that now because I need to see what it looks like. Change of period. Oh, hood on, hood off. That's dope. Hold on.
that's funny. <laughs> this outfit is alright. It's a little... I mean... Is it a little too stush? I think so. So we're gonna go. That's dope, though. You can do that, like, because now he looks like like a uh, like Sherlock Holmes. I'm not trying to look like Sherlock Holmes. I want to look like a student for now. Bing bong, we out. I would have spent too much time on that. No alpos. Town circle, right? Is it natty? All right, we're out. Natty. I left her alone chasing after books and such, didn't I? Revelio. I told you not to go down that path. Hey, Miss yeah. Peck from Rood and Peck said a customer lost a Deeracle around here. I know we're not supposed to go down there. I just thought... You could have got us in a lot of trouble. I'm very sorry, Father. Only she said I might earn a reward. Uh, instead, I just wasted our time. There you are. Oh, finally! I'll have enough of that wind with. Ah, uh, well, well, not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind, I'll fix it. As always. What is going on? I'm hearing a lot of bluff and snow. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Is that how we fish? Revelio. On, carry on. I messed up his little fishing. I <laughs> screwed up his fishing. All right, bro. It's fish, fish. Carry on, fish. Any more uh, flying papers before I bounce? Distance. Love it. I'm, I think, as a matter of fact, Rebellion. you go ahead and cut that one. Oh, yeah. Trim road. Grinding itself. Much talent. Uh, 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 whip through, whip through. Lumos. That's like... I don't know where that's at, but interesting. Emerald Highland attire, and it's a bonus, isn't it? Warhammer. Okay, they're probably paying uh, on VR. My boy is a VR addict. He's got everything. They saw the movie Ready Player One, and, and all their money went into VR. <laughs> VR troop. He's a VR trooper and a real one, not a show. All right, let me gear up, bro. One thing about mouse, and I love that seamlessness because it takes too long to move. It, these games, all these games of today, are made for computer. They use a computer's interface. Destiny, you know, with this. You see the circle? Oh, so when you use your analog, it's like. 
Your controller. Nah, man, I don't have time for all that, bro. Look, what was it? Snip, snap. You feel me? Let me. Oh. This joint is on the money. I might have to swoop. Then it's very Highlandy, yeah? In it. All right. Look, his whole joint changed underneath. Bruh. Just give me my mind. That's too much. Lumos. Ah, let's go bring you back, my friend. Okay, that's dope. I'm getting the hang of that, the moth finding. for that. That's good. I'm just a learned fellow. Rebellion. This is all hogs me. On the lookout for those papers before I leave, I might as well. I might as well. Ah, there we go. So said, so done. Get yourself over here, my good man. My good book. Locked. Stupid chest. I was wondering why it's just so much stuff on this screen, bro. It's that that thing was like I had it up there. Rebellion. Right now it's not there. Akio. Potato. <laughs> you can stop a thief in their tracks with stupefy, or just run, of course. Everybody was always talking about thieves. Akio. Ah. I'll take it. Revelio. Present yourself. Oh, where is it? Where is it? You know the little paper is like, oh, what do you what do you have here? This is kind of oh, it's right there. I see it. What level of mastery? Silver wooden spectacles, and I can wear them.
are rather intelligent, if I don't say so myself. And we will keep them on. Nah, you know what? We're not. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was Beatrice. just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. Mm. Someone died here. Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. Yeah. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Chinese chomping cameras. Oh, this game gets deep, doesn't it? Fertilizer. Definitely not doing all that, though. So, if I sell them, we'll see. You know, like, can I keep the uh, the look? I guess so. Lumos. Okay, that smokestack. I know what that's at. I think. But, uh, yeah, that's going to take a year and a day to upload this, so I'm going to stop the recording portion and continue streaming. <laughs>